Hello, welcome to this again. So last week I tried to install Linux on this iPod and uh, yeah, no, it didn't work. But at the end of that video, I said that I bought an iPod third generation to try again on and that iPod has arrived. This is my first time using a monochrome iPod and honestly, I really like it. This is also the only iPod with this type of button layout. It's all touch based. It's there's no like actual tactile button. It's just touch. And surprisingly, I also really like that. Also, thanks Nate Lessler. I mean, it's not in the greatest condition ever, but it, it's fine. Now, last week I tried to use my main PC as well as a PowerBook G5, and neither of them worked. But this time I've got this Windows XP Pentium 4 laptop that hopefully should work and let me do the thing. Shut up, Norton. Norton Antivirus 2003. So yeah, this is my HP Pavilion ZE5300 running an Intel Pentium 4, and it should be very period correct for this type of project. Now I haven't installed iTunes or anything on here so I'm just gonna hope it works. Oh okay it found it found the iPod. A problem occurred during hardware installation god damn it. Oh okay it's picking up the storage part of it so I think I can just like open up the iPod Linux installer and just give that a shot. All right yep iPod Linux. Oh heck yeah found a 15 gigabyte iPod at physical drive one. Seems to be a third generation iPod which it it, it is so it actually picked up the iPod this time oh my god. Give it a shot. Yeah, sure, screw it. We'll do iPod Loader 2. Okay, that took a hot while, but congratulations, you've successfully installed iPod Linux. Okay, let me eject the iPod real quick. Alright, iPod is ejected. Oh, shoot, it's turning on already. Oh! Nice. All right. Um, one second. Okay. So the iPod went straight into, you know, the default iPod OS. Let me, can I, how do I turn this thing off? Like fully? Do I just like, oh yeah, that did it. All right. I want to boot into iPod Linux. Oh, we've got a loading bar. Oh, <laughs> oh, I cannot see the screen. Hold on. Okay, I figured out how to turn on the backlight. So yeah, uh, I wasn't expecting this to have like a full-on proper interface, but I should have expected that, honestly. Obviously, I don't think there's gonna be any music on here, yeah. Yeah, no, there's nothing in here. <laughs> Extras. There's recordings. I'm assuming micro- wait, micro- what? There's not a microphone in this thing. No such file or directory. <laughs> Press action to re- what? I don't get it. Uh, do I need to, like, plug in a microphone? I don't think I have any microphones on hand that just plug in through line in. Unless... Plug this into the headphone jack. Then plug this into this iPod. Play song on iPod. Start recording on other iPod. I iPod is not recording. Oh, wait, line in record. iPod is not recording. Okay, yeah, uh, this is... It's not It's not working. I, I, too, too, too much effort for me to figure out. It's already been too much effort. <laughs> There's a calculator. Oh, dear. So you're telling me that I can do 2 times 65 minus 3 right on my iPod? That's probably the correct answer. Cube? Whoa. We got the default blender cube on my iPod? Incredible. Dialer. I'm, I'm sure this <laughs> might, might, huh? Maybe I should like plug this into like speakers or something. And no, I'm not bringing the iJuke back. Does this setup like even work? Oh my God. Yes, it does. Okay, so this makes no noise. Wait, yeah, it is. Wait, hold on, hold on. It's just really, really quiet. All right, cool, I guess. Mandel pod? Oh, it's, 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 uh, it's, um, uh, whatever it's called. I forgot. Crap. A fractal, that's what it's called. And yeah, you can just zoom into the fractal. And it takes a really long time to render, but cool. Matrix? Well, yeah, that is a matrix, uh, text falling thing. Apparently there's games on this thing, and quite a few of them. Blue cube? Oh, it's Tetris. Okay. How do I rotate? Oh, that's not what- I, how do I rotate? No. Oh, you just- okay. All right. I got this. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Come on. One line. There we go. Cool. Hunt the Wumpus? Isn't that what, like, what the Discord thing is called? What in the world? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't- I don't know what any of this means. Invaders? It's just space invaders. Okay. <laughs> Except the sensitivity is really, really low. Oh. I pobble. Oh, it's... Okay. It's this type of game. Is this type of game called Pobble? Maybe. Lights. Oh my god. Oh, it's 
this game. I don't know how this game works. Aren't you, like, supposed to get everything lit up? Except there's, like, a thing. I have no idea how it works. Minesweeper. I'm gonna suck at this. Damn it. Othello? Oh, okay. Another game that I recognize, but I do not know how to play. Pong. It's Pong. You have to, you have to run your thumb a mile to be able to hit the ball. Because the paddle moves so slowly. No! Steroids. It's asteroids. Okay. No! I missed it. No, hit, hit that one. Nice. Tic-tac-toe. And yeah, I don't think it's physically possible to lose against an AI, so... Tux chess? It's chess. Uh, fun fact, I don't know how to play chess. Font. Oh yeah, it was, it was, um... It was taking a long time downloading all these fonts, so... We're transferring all these fonts. And it has Comic Sans. We're keeping it at Comic Sans. This is awesome. Oh dear, I'm looking at the iPod Linux website. There are so many things you can download for this thing. If there's DDR clone, I gotta try the DDR clone. So uh, I was trying to install more modules, because you know, I wanted to do more funny things, and it deleted Podzilla, which means I, I can't do anything with Linux on, a, on the iPod anymore. I'm really annoyed that I wasn't able to get DDR running on the iPod. Apparently you can just use Stepmania files for it. But apparently there's another version of iPod Linux that, that does run on this thing, and it comes with emulators. I can play Mario on this thing, so so I want to I want to go I want I want to do that. I'm gonna set I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get that to work. All right, so this is iPod Loader 2. It's just you know a modern version of all this. It can be installed using iPod Patcher, which I need to download from Rockbox, which Firefox is not liking. All right, it's moving images to create room for new firmware. I was about to say it's a 32 megabyte of RAM model, but it disappeared. All right, now I gotta make a configuration file, which I can just. There we go. All right, let's see if the let's see, let's see if this whole thing worked. Well, well, I didn't have the camera on, but it is indeed working. See, it is working. All right, now I gotta follow the steps to install Linux, which is right here. Hatsune Miku, what is she doing here? What? And this one's also from 2008. Okay, Miku Hatsune promo video via MV player. Cool. All right, and then I just send these to the root of the iPod, I guess. All right, we've got the iPod here, and if I click on iPod Linux, it should maybe boot into Linux. And never mind. Okay, then. I forgot to copy the boot folder onto it. I'm stupid. All right, iPod Linux. Give it a shot. Oh, it's loading this time. Oh. Oh. What is that? Searching for modules. All right, and here we are. What is hot dog demos? HD Pong. Oh, okay. I think we ran out of video RAM at the bottom there. Oh no. Um. Okay. Yeah. Sure. That was very HD Pong. What is Bali? Oh, yeah. Those are Bali's, probably. Nano. Fast launch. Sp CPU speed set. Is that all? What's the speed supposed to be set at? Did I break something? Okay, let me reboot. Alright, let's try something else, I guess. MV player. Can I please see the funny? Yes! Yes! Yeah! I can't really play the audio for very long because I'm pretty sure this song is copyright claimed, so uh, there, there we go. But yeah, you can tell it's a Linux project from 2008 because it just has Miku in it, you know, pre-installed. This is awesome. Very cool. And it reboots the entire thing. Okay, okay. Emulators. Give me the NES one. And it... Okay, yeah, it crashed. Uh...